2008 Beijing Paralympics, saw someone, can't remember who it was, with spinocerebellar ataxia and went, ooh, maybe I might classify. So I contacted the APC and they said, what are you interested in? I said, water sports. So the first thing I tried was rowing and that's it. Here I am today. Started rowing the next week. Uh, rowing kind of found me. Um, I was uh, swimming and that was my goal and that's what I love to do. And I uh, went to a talent search day and they said, you had uh, talent in rowing. I'd never tried rowing before, never thought of rowing before. I actually thought it was quite a strange kind of sport that it went backwards. Um, and they said, no, we think you got talent in that. And I wanted to go to Beijing and that was 18 months out. And uh, I decided to try my hand at it and uh, the rest is history, as they say. Cat was already there, so I had to uh, go for selection for my spot. And um, yeah, so in 2012, I went and done the selection criteria, and I was lucky enough that uh, the person that was in the boat, they chose me over him, so. It was faster on the days. Well, for me, because of our uh, training, I'm very comfortable. Is that, uh, I won't say cocky, but confident in our own abilities. So we have belief in each other as a crew and what we need to do. So um, there's always a little bit of nerves on the line, but not not a great deal. We just just another regatta. We're very calm about that. Just another regatta. We'll row and. Yeah, we're happy with our training and we're good to go. Yeah, we've we've had a very good year, a good season and we've uh, progressed quite dramatically in the boat and in ourselves personally and uh, putting it together. It's pretty exciting going in this time around. Um, you know, we're 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 uh, pretty happy where we are and we'll give it everything we've got and and hopefully that's that's enough on the day. But we're actually going in quite happy and and really looking forward to it and, and uh, should be enjoyable. Oh, it's a, an amazing facility. We're very lucky to, to have the opportunity to have access to a facility like this built here. We come straight from the AIS, so it's a very easy transition for us into the same sort of environment um, here. Uh, we're very, very lucky to have, have what we've got here. I mean, the lake's just there and we've got our gym and you've got your recovery. You got everything you need, you can just slot in and there's no difference, there's no changes. Well it's still a gauge, so our long our long term goal is obviously Rio. So each year the season starts again and you've got to progress and improve as much as you can. Last year it was an unknown coming into the World Champs. We, there was no expectations, it was just an unknown. Now we have expectations but we have belief in ourselves and comfortable so it's exciting to, exciting to see how far we've progressed in the long term plan, you know what I mean? So um, we set ourselves as a team and with our coach we have a look at the long term picture but to get there we've got to take small steps and there's uh, benchmarks we like to achieve through the year so I'm excited to see where we sit this time as opposed to last year so obviously our goal is to win but then there's you can break down the race into uh, how we, we planned our race, how the race went to our plan or how much time we either gain on our competitors or lose to our competitors so it's quite exciting to see where we sit at this stage of the Paralympic cycle so yeah well for me it gives 
it's one of the hardest sports you can ever do, whether you've got a physical disability or not. So there's that challenge, but it's also rowing can be um, sounds quite weird, but very relaxing. So for someone to start out, to be able to be out on the water, either in a single or as part of a crew, can be quite relaxing and calming. Um, but then it's also, if you want a good, great workout, it provides that as well. And then when you race people, there's a challenge there. So you've got the gamut of all sports, uh, of all feelings through that. So if you want a relaxing paddle, it can be amazing. And you know, well, here we are in for racing and it's amazing on the lake or whether you're rowing on the Yarra or in Sydney or uh, at Penrith, it's, it can be quite serene and peaceful, but then it can also be quite demanding and challenging, I think. So it offers everything. Um, rowing sort of gives me a personal side for having a disability. Uh, when I first took rowing on, I, I loved the water. Uh, you know, I loved swimming, I loved anything to do with water. Uh, but rowing actually gave me a feeling of freedom. It gave me a bit, I, I can't run always wanted to but it the speed of the boat gives me that feeling of running and I've got that freedom of being able to do that without you know having severe pain and and being limited to being able to do it so it uh, when I first tried it, it it was an absolutely amazing feeling of having the wind and the boat sound and moving through the water and, and it, you sort of get hooked really quickly I mean it is very challenging uh, and it's not for everybody but I would recommend everybody to give it a go. Uh, it's, it's an amazing feeling.